now we have Deborah. Great. Um, we were talking about how to use language in a way that is open, welcoming, and accessible, and that doesn't necessarily freeze anyone out, given that there are a lot of terms that have been going around today, games and theater and performance, and even the term lab itself, which may be appealing to some and less appealing to others, and which sometimes make it unclear when we're actually all talking about the same thing. So uh, we started by talking about definitions, definition of game, uh, we, we touched on the definition of theater and performance, we touched on the definition of a lab itself, uh, and we came around to the idea of the oppression of categorization, of how to get words that are kind of generous and malleable, and how words are very context specific and individual. So if your grandmother said to you, would you like to play a game uh, while you were around for tea, you'd probably be like, yeah. <laughs> Or you would assume that you were about to play cards, you know. Uh, but if somebody said to you in a theater context, would you like to play a game, you might have a different reaction depending on how you feel about games. And if you're in a technological situation, if someone asked, would you like to play a game, you'd also have different expectations. Um, my own feeling about all of this is that all of is that you can call anything anything you want, but all words sort of come with certain expectations and certain preoccupations, and those are things we can play with, but it is also important to make sure that they're not alienating people. So that was it, I think. <laughs>